All right, friendies. Now we're uh, we're already here right at the start of this campaign. I can tell you, this one is going to be uh, an absolute. Uh, uh, this this one is going to be a tough one. Now, uh, our task, uh, our main campaign goal, uh, is to uh, push back the Serbs uh, out of uh, Bosnia and uh, restore uh, the uh, previous borders uh, the borders of uh, uh, Bosnia uh, before the uh, Serb invasion now uh, uh, in, in contrast to, to the previous campaign uh, this one actually a season Serb um, advanced uh, towards the west and actually uh, invading uh, Bosnia uh, to uh, the west and uh, actually also uh, invading Croatia as you can see and they actually managed to uh, manage to uh, take, take Zagreb and key, key cities in Croatia uh, as well now not all uh, Croatia is uh, uh, occupied but uh, it's it's <laughs> it's pretty close uh, uh, to uh, being so and uh, we need to act here appropriately now the NATO forces it's a uh, also call it coalition forces of course and they uh, 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 consist of uh, several uh, several nations uh, air force and uh, several nations uh, ground units uh, so uh, we have to uh, uh, be on top of our game as far as coordination uh, the ground units and the air forces go uh, uh, in order to make sure everything runs nice and buttery smooth. Uh, now we have to take uh, some of those uh, some of those objectives we have to take are uh, very near right right here on the uh, Bosnian uh, border. Uh, some of uh, some of the main uh, cities. I'm not going to quote those cities because I don't have uh, the list of objectives right here uh, in front of me. But I have marked them now. Uh, Zagreb, uh, the capital of uh, Croatia, is uh, one of the main objectives that we have to take. So, uh, yeah, you know, those uh, forces right here on the coastline, and we have one or two infantry divisions and uh, several. Armor battalions are gonna uh, uh, put out the main um, are gonna be the main uh, maneuvering force over here, uh, uh, taking uh, Zagreb. Uh, uh, before before taking Zagreb, we might have to just uh, 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 you know get a uh, foothold over here uh, with um, uh, taking these uh, Bihats. Uh, uh, Bihats town and from there uh, swoop over to the south and from uh, two directions actually uh, pincer uh, Zagreb defensive perimeter and take uh, Zagreb. Now if we can man actually manage to do this uh, we're gonna create a buffer zone here uh, uh, buffer zone between us and the uh, uh, and the remainder of uh, the USNAP units over here to the east as you can see we, we also have uh, mountain range which is also something here to uh, consider we're going to be moving uh, through mountain or uh, 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 environment in mount mountain passes or at least uh, high high ground if it's not uh, you, you know a distinct mountainous terrain it's, it's going to be a high ground we're going to have a lot of hills uh, so I want to stay uh, cautious uh, of those at all times uh, so this is <clears throat> the, uh, this is the southern, um, not the southern uh, portion. This is my plan for this uh, southern portion. Also, now intel is uh, pretty scarce. Uh, tactical intel is pretty scarce, at least for uh, in regard of uh, troop uh, disposition of the Serbs. Serb troop dispositions. Now we also have some uh, rocket artillery battalions, which is uh, very good. And uh, by the way, troops are set up by the AI or by the uh, uh, campaign uh, creator. Uh, they actually uh, anticipate most of the action to happen actually here to the north, uh, which is understandable because this is a flat terrain. It has good infrastructure, uh, uh, you know, uh, creating a good environment for uh, uh, you know uh, 
uh, for logistics so they can uh, move supply around they can move troops around quickly so we can see uh, this is uh, uh, over here uh, very uh, this is uh, southern and southeastern uh, Europe uh, uh, so very uh, very well uh, you know decently uh, decent uh, infrastructure and also a flat terrain which is even more important uh, so the enemy can employ its weapons uh, to uh, their max ranges to their max capabilities uh, so the flat terrain here is uh, going to be I would say it's going to be more difficult to uh, it always is more more difficult to uh, defend and we also had a, a white front here uh, which and then this is going to mean that we have to uh, always know what's going on and we have to move uh, troops around and reinforce and uh, uh, reinforce each other accordingly so this is where I'm expecting most of the action to happen uh, in a northern Croatia where it's uh, flat uh, now we also have a lot of rivers uh, here uh, so it's a very lush land with a lot of water uh, a lot of rivers uh, we also uh, quite naturally have a lot of bridges there uh, we also want to make sure that we control uh, the uh, the most uh, bridges so whoever controls the most bridges is going to move uh, more freely and it's going to move uh, easier as you can see if we uh, uh, put the infrastructure on and declutter just a little bit you can see a lot of bridges and most of those bridges currently are controlled by the Serbs uh, so a very uh, very important aspect uh, of uh, this campaign so definitely uh, north uh, <laughs> up here to the north is where uh, this campaign is going to be won or lost uh, now as a uh, as a site uh, it's actually not a site so I was, uh, it's one of the uh, main aspects uh, here this campaign is our essentially our right flank uh, as it turns out we have some air bases here in the uh, southern Italy but really the, uh, the ground units uh, that uh, consist the uh, personnel environment over there are mainly uh, support uh, battalions um, so, so the way I see things and we also have some air bases uh, with some support assets those are the uh, KC-135 tankers we also have probably some uh, triple C assets air bases there uh, and it's pretty much it we also have some naval bases along this uh, eastern coast of Italy uh, and the uh, majority of the actual uh, supply complexes over there and supply uh, points uh, are over uh, here in the northern uh, Italy and the northern Adriatic this is where we have our uh, main a uh, few supplies and main uh, supply uh, uh, depots uh, situated uh, uh, at our rear over here in this uh, northern uh, portion of the theater uh, so we want to make sure we protect uh, this northern portion and when you see this AOG those are the tanker and ammunition ships we also have some tanker and ammunition ships in um, I would say they are being protected uh, by uh, by some uh, naval assets uh, but this is the first thing I'm gonna actually look into uh, we have this uh, wall uh, of uh, enemy patrol boats and uh, uh, you know uh, those are the OSA 2 type uh, patrol boats um, so, uh, and they're doing something very important what they're doing actually here uh, uh, they are uh, protecting the Serbs left flank and this is the Croatia uh, the Croatian uh, portion, uh, portion over here of the map uh, so those uh, patrol boats they could be also two in this case uh, but they could be uh, any kind of uh, seagoing vessel that's actually uh, capable of employing uh, rocket artillery or barreled artillery any kind of gun really big caliber gun and they can shell uh, these uh, positions over here in uh, uh, in Croatia so extremely important uh, uh, part uh, of our uh, overall success is going to be uh, to actually put a put a hefty dent uh, into uh, those ship formations over here 
Uh, we also have a quite interesting uh, one of the um, like especially for this time period um, uh, one of the newest uh, actually Chinese uh, frigates uh, the Jingwei if I'm not mistaken uh, type uh, that actually has some anti-submarine uh, capability uh, reported uh, we don't field any actually a submarine uh, uh, or submersible assets here uh, in this uh, theater uh, so uh, this is something uh, that we might consider actually at some point of uh, time so uh, we're having kind of uh, like uh, UI problems here and uh, I have 10 uh, airplanes available but I actually uh, frag this flight of two and it uh, doesn't uh, let me frag some more flights but it's okay I'm gonna fight this flight uh, I'm gonna fight this um, uh, sortie uh, and probably it uh, kinda gives me access to the rest of uh, my squadron uh, and we're flying this uh, 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 315 uh, fighter squadron. Uh, we're flying uh, F-16 uh, Alpha Mikes. Uh, so a uh, pretty pretty interesting uh, jet to uh, fly. Uh, this mission is going to be a TASMO, and we're going to target uh, uh, these two uh, positions uh, of uh, <coughs> of the enemy uh, vessels, um, taking into the air uh, four times. Uh, Mavericks, uh, the, the Gulf Maverick, and taking one center line in the TGP. So it's a symmetrical loadout. My uh, wingman also has uh, the same uh, type of uh, weapons. Uh, what I'm trying to accomplish uh, here, just uh, move as quickly as I can, um, fight these sorties without, uh, without um, uh, any just. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, flying as strictly and as disciplined as I can uh, and uh, actually uh, deliver good weapons on target because those guys are pretty close to our base as well and uh, uh, you know, next thing you know uh, it's, it's going to be actually uh, shells landing on our air base this is going to be complete, a complete and utter failure now there are 60 miles uh, it's a lot, but they can actually uh, decide to move in force, and, and they can certainly do so. Uh, we have uh, one element uh, uh, here, the 5th uh, PIGO task force, uh, which uh, is uh, going to lighten the load on us, uh, probably uh, a little bit. And we also have two uh, task forces over here, uh, frigates or destroyers. You know, as, as many ships as we can get uh, uh, contradicting this uh, uh, this enemy wall uh, for uh, this enemy navy, Adriatic navy over here, uh, the better, uh, really. So uh, this is going to be it, and also uh, it doesn't hurt to mention that actually we have some sporadic uh, instances of uh, enemy troops over here, here and there. Uh, I don't know what those guys are. Probably some uh, peacekeeping element uh, in those um, in those cities and towns over here in Croatia and Bosnia. Uh, UN uh, peacekeepers undoubtedly and those guys were completely overrun uh, we're gonna try to uh, keep uh, the status of uh, uh, those guys um, uh, you know uh, as fresh as we can and we're gonna uh, actually uh, gonna try to um, uh, keep in touch with them definitely so this is it uh, for the first uh, the first uh, actually uh, a few pointers uh, on uh, this campaign. So guys, I uh, see you uh, in the air. See how this one goes. It's very early in the morning. It's uh, 5 o'clock local time. So uh, the sun's just coming up uh, and so are the Vipers. Well, there we are. Uh, just making a few uh, last checks. Check, just check the knots. And uh, this thing is uh, set up <laughs> uh, slightly uh, uh, differently. Uh, Every cockpit actually uh, is um, uh, different, which is uh, very good. Very good, guys. You know, thumbs up to you. Uh, to all the developers. Uh, very, very, very good uh, type cockpits uh, for those uh, Falcons. Now we're running things up. Uh, we're looking for our nozzle uh, geometry. We're looking for good uh, uh, temperature. We're looking for good aft it, uh, and um, uh, 
good revolutions and as you can see it's just coming up over there to the east just uh, one one extra light departure uh, and very good tarmac textures there just one one resume all navigation just one two good for departure all right and extremely good sound now very very impressed with this uh, sound of the engine actually very very happy and we have uh, lightning here extremely extremely good I've, I've, I haven't flown actually this um, uh, this uh, block of the 816 um, so very very happy with this one uh, so we're waiting to to uh, go uh, airport I'm putting the dolly up as a flight lead I'm shooting the rounds of um, uh, of uh, day doing uh, so it's gonna be a very short flight uh, over here to the target uh, we're getting good climb here we're keeping 340 we make sure this uh, wing uh, flutter uh, doesn't get uh, too severe and look at that lighting that's just that's just amazing amazing uh, really the textures on this theater uh, very very good uh, now uh, well, what I like uh, the, to do is, as I said, it's, uh, it's going to be a really short flight uh, to target. We want to make sure we uh, align those. I uh, uh, want to make sure we align those uh, Mavericks up. Uh, we're going to a uh, weapon uh, here. <coughs> and I'm keeping C mode. Uh, just to get Italian nose guys um, um, there now this is uh, this is southern Italy uh, we're assuming uh, course just let, just let me check uh, real quick we're assuming course uh, to the north yes We're heading for a target. Now we're doing this. Uh, uh, I, would, I would stay at uh, medium altitude here, uh, uh, just to uh, just to make sure uh, we don't get. Okay, uh, we have some launch activity, and it's quite natural. I have to mention. Uh, that the enemy air environment is a lot more complicated than the previous uh, uh, the previous campaign that we did. Uh, they have a uh, double, not not actually double, not triple, but actually quadruple the amount of air bases and the amount of uh, MiG-29 and MiG-21 uh, uh, squadrons. So uh, this is definitely something. Uh, uh, this is definitely a factor and something to consider. Uh, now, as far as our squadron, as far as the uh, 315th uh, is concerned, uh, we're going to be flying uh, 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 air-to-ground missions, I think, uh, almost exclusive. We don't have the capability of uh, to carry harms. Uh, uh, we can carry, actually, uh, I don't believe that we even have uh, the Delta Mavericks. Uh, we can carry uh, pretty much uh, the majority of, uh, of the dumb bombs array. Uh, we can carry the 81s in, in different, uh, the 82s in different configuration. We can carry the 83, uh, the Mark 83, and the Mark 84. Uh, we can actually drop GDU tens. Uh, we can carry the whole plethora of uh, uh, Jade uh, Jade amps. Uh, you know, uh, that are widely available. Uh, those are the uh, uh, 31 Victor 1 Bravos and uh, Victor 3 Bravos. Uh, we can uh, carry the uh, 38s uh, and we can carry the GBO 39s, small diameter bombs, and um, uh, we can carry the 54s, those are the combined guidance. Uh, so, um, we can be pretty dangerous uh, with uh, what we can carry. Uh, we can even uh, uh, do some air, uh, air to air. Although this particular squadron, I kind of doubt it's going to be uh, um, uh, delegated air to air missions. But we're going to see uh, whatever we're needed. Uh, we're going to do uh, the best we can. 
Okay, the Merrick's all spooled up. I'm going to uh, uh, switch his hat. Where are uh, feet wet? So I'm uh, fencing uh, my flight in. Okay, so number two is having problems again. Uh, Uh, we're zeroing in uh, just uh, nicely uh, on this uh, uh, on this uh, uh, ship uh, location. Uh, now, uh, what I what I would like to do uh, is actually uh, get as many flights uh, doing Tasmos in this particular situation. Uh, at least uh, from our squadron, as many flights doing Tasmos uh, as I can. Uh, just just to cause this splash there and just to uh, uh, just to nudge things into the right direction uh, and uh, it is clearing the uh, clearing our right flank so we can move uh, more freely uh, on the ground uh, now as far as the guys on the as far as the guys on the ground go especially those northern portion of the map uh, they are actually uh, uh, I saw there were uh, uh, at least one squad squadron of Harriers uh, entirely uh, dedicated to close air support, so they're going to be pretty closely tied to uh, our guys there, especially to the north. Uh, so, so it's kind of nice to see Harriers instead of uh, Warhawks, uh, at least for the majority uh, for the majority of time. Okay, so I got two contacts there. Um, switch hot pants in uh, 7.6 uh, 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 yeah definitely definitely uh, contacts uh, you can uh, see they're starting to emerge there uh, that's a, oh yeah yeah that's a definite uh, and I would like to actually what I would like to do uh, you know, a rough estimation on the uh, um, yeah, uh, on the displacement of the vessels and the size of the warhead from the Gulf Maverick actually uh, puts me right at to four Mavericks. So I pretty much have to shoot four Mavericks at one ship uh, to sink it. Uh, I was hoping two could get into the air effortlessly at least, uh, so we can uh, shoot his four Mavericks on on the, the second ship. Uh, I don't think this is going to happen, so what I'm going to do uh, is uh, shoot two ma Mavericks per target. Uh, I just uh, hope to get as much effects as I can. <coughs> uh, okay, so we're doing this uh, medium altitude uh, run towards the, towards the target. Uh, we're a long uh, distance uh, uh, way. Uh, those are definite, definite OSAs. You can see those um, masts there. Uh, it's a huge uh, uh, telling point. Uh, actually, I don't want to speak too soon because this could be one of the June way, uh, one of the June way uh, <laughs> uh, frigates. Uh, I know they're operating in the area. There might be a little bit further north there. Um, uh, but definitely, definitely uh, for me. Uh, now, uh, the way I see those guys, uh, they're actually pushing north, uh, 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 right where the uh, uh, right where the uh, main, uh, main main supply pool uh, of uh, of the coalition is. Uh, so, a pretty nasty uh, situation if if, you, if we let them through, and uh, if they uh, start moving uh, west, it's. It, uh, it's as bad <laughs> as moving north, cause uh, that's where we, we are, and um, uh, they can pretty much uh, ruin our day there. I want to get the picture. Torgo's bridal, and we're preparing for attack run. And picture is something that we don't get, uh, which is fine. It's going to be one away, two away, and then switch to the next target. One more, and one more. Get us four away. I'm gonna hang around here for the uh, BDA. Now I don't have to stay at the amount. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch to uh, switch to the TTP. 
uh, switch to the TGP. Now this uh, high uh, high image clarity uh, TGP was uh, was kind of like a novelty in the 90s. Uh, so uh, it's <laughs> uh, it's a highly uh, highly valued for the SS. It actually had those ki high quality TGP, so it can actually uh, do some BDA uh, with those. Uh, and this is the first guy. I'm gonna actually use your win this guy. And I'm gonna watch for my hits there. Uh, they might actually, I have actually already hit him. Yeah, there they are. There they are. Flying towards him. Flying towards him. Boom. That's one. Boom. That's two. And this second guy. Boom. One. Boom. Two. Okay. Got good. Uh, good hits. Uh, I'm not sure it's anything more than that. Uh, have this huge dust ball here. Uh, I'm hoping for good effects as I said. I wanna I wanna get as many as many uh, rounds on target as I can, really. And smoke's obscuring right now. I wanna do uh, as good BDA as I can. Um, Uh, and remember, don't have any wax here. Uh, uh, so I have to stay on uh, on on top of everything, pretty much. Cat and it's really <laughs> this is really the worst time. Actually, you don't you don't have uh, you have uh, too much light to use the knots, and uh, it's not and yet it's Cat not. Flare. Okay, so. Uh, Not pretty much. I, I I liked what I saw. Uh, so I'm gonna call those uh, good hits, and you can actually acquire those guys visually. Uh, there they are, and they're pretty much turned into a into a fireball. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm pretty much gonna uh, return home, and um, 57 miles to home plate, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse. And repeat, rinse and repeat for uh, for those um, uh, Adriatic fleet assets. Uh, we want to do something, uh, yeah, something pretty similar to what we just did, uh, just to uh, make it easier on guys on the ground and on the water. All right, guys, uh, see you on the ground. All right, so uh, there we are, our, our first little piece of action. Uh, just tasted. Perfectly, uh, because we <laughs> uh, we excel uh, uh, at uh, destroying those guys. Now, now uh, you know, mission is uh, uh, by uh, Falcon BMS uh, UI is uh, indexed as a failure, but uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it failure because um, now we had to uh, make some decisions while uh, in the air on the fly. Uh, and we kind of shifted uh, things uh, around uh, um, when uh, we had this um, situation with my number two not taking off uh, for some reason. I had to I had to in engage a single target uh, uh, target uh, location, and that was tier four. Uh, so uh, uh, I got two hits and actually destroyed two uh, units. So very. Uh, very pleased with that. Now, uh, uh, so I know that uh, two uh, uh, two uh, Gulf Mavericks are uh, enough, or actually more than enough, to, uh, to destroy a Nosa too. So this kind of uh, puts a new twist on things. I know I'm good with uh, this. So there we go. Uh, steer four uh, is pretty much uh, destroyed. Targets in steer 4 are pretty much destroyed, and what I'm hoping uh, to uh, actually uh, accomplish, guys, here is just uh, hopefully completely removing uh, this uh, threat array over here in the Adriatic, sinking all the ships there so that we can uh, uh, free our uh, flank, uh, our right flank, so we can move to Zagreb and over here to the Croatian cities on the coastline. Uh, this is pretty much it. And we also have development there. Uh, the first red uh, tank uh, uh, battalions have popped up. 
Uh, so we are <laughs> over here to the north. We definitely want to be as diligent and as meticulous as we can, because this is where uh, the main uh, grunt of the enemy uh, of the enemy force is uh, going to be. Thank you very much for watching this, guys, uh, and uh, see you in the next one.